We're going to look at area and volume starting with 2D shapes. Be careful to read each question carefully. Check the units that's given in the question. Sometimes in the diagram can be different. So we're asked to find the area and perimeter, perimeter of each of these following shapes and all units are in millimeters. So we we'll find the perimeter first of this one. If it's 12 that way, this one and this one have to be 12. And if it's 10 going in this direction, this one and this one have to be 10. So the perimeter I'll call P. P is equal to P is equal to twice 10 plus twice 12. And that's going to give 20 plus 24, which is 44. That's the perimeter in millimeters. The area, we just need to divide it into two shapes. This one here at the top is 10 by 3. So area is equal to 30 plus this one here. Well, it's not 12 anymore. We've taken the top part away, which is 3. So it's 9. So this one here is going to be 9 by the 2 at the bottom, which you can see is 18. 30 plus 18. The area 48 millimeters or units squared. The second one, well, we divide it up into a rectangle or a square or whatever it is and a triangle. So I'll put my dimensions in, I have 15 here. So my 28 is no longer 28. We can see here this is 20 from the bottom being 20. So this has to be 8 and I have a 20. So I've got my rectangular shaped object which is 20 along the bottom and 15 along the side so we look at perimeter first so we'll start at the bottom 20 20 plus 15 plus 20 plus 8 going around this way and then you can see here we need our knowledge of Pythagoras and if I just do that little triangle I'll do it off to the side up the top right hand corner here you guys might recognize this from all your work when the two straight sides are 8 and 15 64 and 225 is 289 and the square root of 289 is 17 it might be one of these triangles that you recognize so the perimeter here 20 plus 15 plus 20 plus 8 plus 17 so we have 45 and 23 55 and 25 55 and 25 is 80 millimeters for the perimeter the area so just if you have a diagram use it so the area here 20 by 15 and 20 by 15 is 300 and half the base by the perpendicular height is half 8 by the height which is 15 or we could do half 15 by 8 if you look at 15 as the base and that's the same as 4 15s, which is 60. So the area is 360 millimeters. We put meters, millimeters squared. The area, arc length and perimeter. Now we have three things. We have area, arc length and perimeter. So we go area. So the area, this is a quarter of a circle. You can see it's a 90 degree angle. 90 over 360 is a quarter. So the area is pi r squared and we're told pi is 3.14 3.14 pi multiplied by the radius squared which is 15 squared so that'll be the full circle so what do we have to divide by for this one we just have to divide by four so try and get it where you're using the formula in one go and you're typing it into your calculator in one go so this is three quarters of 225 approximately which gives exactly 176.625. The arc length, again, it's a quarter of an arc of a circle, which is the second part. So the arc of a circle, the arc length of a circle, the circumference of a circle, two pi r. And in this case, we're gonna divide by four. So it's equal to pi r over two. That's equal to 3.14 by the 15, which is the radius, divided by 2, 
which is 20 something, 23, 0.55 centimeters. And the last thing we're asked for is the perimeter here and the perimeter of this shape. Uh, if we look at the two 15s, the perimeter is just 30 added on to the arc length. So 30 plus 23.55 is 53.55 centimeters. We're told to take pi as 22 over seven in the next one. So area is pi r squared. But in this case, we're dividing by two. So we're looking at 22 over seven. We were told to take pi as by the radius squared, which is not 10, the radius is five, half the diameter, just be careful. So put your five in, maybe it might help. So by five squared, we're dividing that all by two. And that works out to be 39 and two sevenths, 39 and two over seven. And that is in meters this time, meters squared. Which is 39.28, what is it, 285? 39.29 meters squared, we'll say. Okay, the second thing is arc length. So that's 2 pi r divided by, but it's a half, so it's 2 pi r over 2. And you can see here, when we're just looking for half the arc, it's just pi r. So 22 over 7 times the radius, which is 5, is 110 divided by 7, which is 15 of them. 105 of 5 left over, and 5 sevenths is 0.714, so we say 0 0.71. So <clears throat> that's the arc length, and then the perimeter, we're just adding 10 to the arc length for perimeter. So perimeter is going to be 25.71, adding on this length here. So that's the first video on area and volume. Go on and look at the next set of questions.